All right. Hey, everyone. You know what? I have so much to say. I probably I'm gonna have to put out a couple videos tonight. First of all, YouTube sucks. Sorry, YouTube, but I had to say it. I've tried to post three videos, three updates on the close. And none of them just they just disappeared. They were under 10 minutes. There were about five minutes each alerts on. I had a, a mid afternoon up, update. I had a, two closing updates and a momentum update telling what to buy for momentum tomorrow. And none of them showed up. The last tr the last video I see there on my video thing is noon update or Pfizer alert or something like that. I'm like Jesus, all that work for nothing and good stuff and how, do, how am I even supposed to catch you up now you know I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to k keep you updated on every move now I have to catch you up what happened at the end of the day anyway a little pissed off that I have to make sure I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this uh, YouTube set up right and I have to be able to get the alerts out faster the next time so it's, uh, it's you know this market is uh, is on a tear it's it's good it's good if you're long it sucks if you're a bear and short in a short position um, but, you know, there's a lot of plays. There's so many plays in the market. I got an email today saying, can I, can I uh, concentrate on more of uh, plays that more people are familiar with, more liquid stocks like the Microsofts and the Garmin's. And I thought I was doing a lot of that, too. But there was some stocks they didn't, uh, didn't know, like IMMR and uh, NNRI and, o, you know, and other ones. So, you know, what? I, I, I'm just finding the best ones I like right now. But I'll take that in consideration and try to, uh, you know, try just to get more recommendations out there and stuff. It's just, uh, you know, you, you just take what they give you. The best, the best charts sometimes are not the ones that are well known, and that's when they become well known because you get them on the bottom. I don't, you know, there's a couple types of trading. You get on momentum trading, or you can find a stock that's about to turn around and head up. That's the two I love to trade. I mean, the only two really are going to make money. Um, so I'm, you know, and I'm going to go over a great, great, great chart formation tonight with this uh, update. And I'm going to show you this is one of my favorite chart bottoming formations and what I look for in char charts all the time. So let's let's get on overstock. I actually bought some overstock into the close. I was talk. I gave a little uh, talk on uh, momentum trades, and of course uh, they killed it on me. I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, I got into overstock. I don't know if around. 2.30, 3 o'clock, you know, probably at its highs. It pulled back, and then it started uh, retesting the highs. So I'm glad I got it, you know. I, and I wanted to hold this overnight because of the strength into the close and the market and the volume that was coming in. I was like, all right, you know what? This might get a gap. So I only got, how many shares did I get over overstock? I don't, probably don't have that much overstock right here. I have 40 shares. Well, I didn't even tell you about that. 40 shares. <laughs> I'm not getting no gap up. <laughs> Next, MU. Earnings are coming out tomorrow. I like this one. I like it a lot. Uh, Technology is in. NASDAQ is the only one that's not breaking out to all-time highs here. Imagine, imagine, I mean, imagine, I said that three times. I'm just, you know, can you imagine that NASDAQ was once at 5,000? All right, so what are we now? We have like 2,000 points to go up in the NASDAQ, and NASDAQ's technology. So you know the technology is still going to go up. You know, this market's only going to head higher unless there's some kind of uh, major catastrophe in the world and stuff. We're only going to go ahead higher because that's what life is. We're expanding. Our knowledge is expanding. Technology is expanding. Everything is expanding. These people saying that, oh, we're overbought, we're oversold. They don't know. This is a whole new world. This is a whole new world. Maybe these stocks are under undervalued. Who makes the rules? The rules, who, who are making these rules up? You know, that this one's overbought and overvalued. I was thinking today, you know what? I want to I want a short Chipotle grill because I you know I, I went into that place and I didn't like it too much and I was like how do I don't how could this stock be one hundred and twenty two dollars and I'm like I want to short it so last week I shorted like twenty shares and it went against me so I got out of it I'm like what am I stupid you know apparently these people like Chipotle it's not even the the shorts that are getting squeezed out of it you know now that they have so much money in their stock they can make so many more stores people are just going to expand we're going to need to eat more and they're not, they're not a bad restaurant they're better than you know. Burger King and uh, Jack in the Box and stuff. So, what the hell? Maybe maybe they're undervalued. I don't know. You know. So, I know I know some things, but I don't know if Ch Chipotle is uh, going down yet or not. But I wanted to short it. But I'm out. Micron coming out with the earnings tomorrow. I know I'm gonna have to do two videos. I'm talking so fast. I don't know. My head's gonna spin off. Um, so I bought some Micron. I have 200 shares. I bought. Um, I don't know if the earnings are tomorrow afternoon. I believe. And. Let's take a look at the daily chart. 
coming up to one of my favorite formations here. All right, we got a W pattern. One, two, this should continue up. And we also have a double bottom here. And, uh, you know, a double bottom is more in a, in a, in a W. But I, I, this is kind of something like I was looking for before. This is like a, a very interesting, weird, you know, reverse head, you know, not really a inverted head and shoulders, but you can get where I'm going, you know. There's a shoulder here, a head, and a shoulder here. And if we break through the shoulder, we're going higher. I see this one going higher either. Anyway, I see this one going up tomorrow after earnings to twelve fifty to thirteen dollars. All right. I mean, they had a bad quarter last quarter. They're not going to have another. They're not going to destroy this quarter. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna set the. Uh, they actually set the groundwork. They've been doing some good things. I'm hearing good things on the street about this. I'll probably be adding to my position if I see uh, trending up nicely tomorrow. But we'll update you on that. All right, next one. How much time do I even have? C, the big C, Citibank. I still love it here. You know, it's probably going to gap up more. Chuck Prince, the CEO. That's what everyone's buying the stock, thinking that this is the last days of Chuck Prince. Chuck Prince, Chuck Prince. Look at this one. What a pullback. I mean, I mean, it's been all the way up. to. I'm going back into time, $55. All right, it's, it was 47 Well, you know, they say this one's really cheap, and if Chuck Prince goes, this thing could pop three or four points. And that's what everyone wants, and that's what everyone's calling for on the street. And I guarantee you, when the street talks and, the, and it's on TV and stuff, the shareholders are going to make a move, the stockholders, the shareholders, and they're going to kick this guy to the street. And that's going to happen probably within the next month. I wouldn't be surprised they came out with an announcement tomorrow that Chuck is on his way out, you know? That would send that stock at rocketing. So a good one to keep on your watch list and start accumulating shares. I did buy, I did, I traded this one today and I uh, did very well on it. I bought it pre market on the bad news and it just, it just went all day. Uh, BMY, I talked about yesterday in the watch list and I never even got around trading it, but I see it broke out of a small triangle here in the 60 minute. I want to move on. Garmin got crushed today. Can you say gap fill? All right. I'm not saying it's going higher, but I'm saying it's going higher. At least to 110. I'm in for a trade. I'm holding at 102 um, and change. And I posted that when I got that. And I'm up to 40 shares on it. I'm told, you know, give me five five points, you know. That's, what is that, 200 bucks. I'll take that. You know, five points tomorrow, I'm out. But uh, look for a bounce on this one. Pfizer, my one of my best favorite stocks right now. Broke out of the 60-minute, consolidated right here at the highs. Look at it one more time on a five-minute chart. Um, I'm not really pushed out too much because I want to get a vi video. Oh, here. Oh, what the hell is going on here? But anyway, here you look. Look at this. You see this? There we go. Uh, came up, consolidated right to the end of the day uh, to about 4 o'clock, and it was, uh, it's good to go, I think. Daily charts screaming by. We're in this triangle. We're right at the top of it. And I think we're going up. We're going to test this gap here. I'll be out of it. You know, before we even get there. Well, now, I like this one. I have 400, 500 shares of this. So I'm expecting at least a dollar pop on it. AKAM, A -K -K -A -M, Alchemy, my second favorite stock after uh, Pfizer and Intel. Well, that would make it the third. But anyway, I see a tremendous bottoming pattern here. All right. We have um, a bounce here. Where's the 60 minute? I'm running out of time. I, wanna, I don't want them to lose my video, all this work. Anyway, we have nice consolidation here. I really like this. You know why I like it? Because this used to be a big one. This used to be a baby of Wall Street, and we have a huge gap here. And people are going to see that, and they're going to say, all right, time to make some money. Let's move it up. Let's come out with the upgrades. Let's come up with, with the recommendations. You know, everyone get in here. Everyone get in here. $28, $28 Mark. Let's get in for the ride up. All right, I'm in. This is the bottom play. This one might be the best return of uh, in the next couple of months. We'll see what happens. SIRF, I wish I didn't get out of it, but this is one of the this is the um, chart I'm talking about. This reverse head and shoulder, inverted head and shoulders. Guaranteed, when you break through that, you have a launch. And look at that launch. I would have been out today anyway. We closed that gap. We're probably going to even continue higher to new highs. But you know what? This game is about making money, not overstaying your welcome. Uh, AXR, that was that one with the short squeeze. Each day, the shorts, shorts pounded the stock back down. It made a squeeze, one higher, one higher. I'm still holding on 90 shares, but tomorrow I'm going to reconsider because these shorts are strong in here, and they're just nailing the stock down. They don't want it to get out of hand like it did over here because that could be a painful 
you know, that could be painful. So we're going to see what's going to monitor this one closely. I might be out of it tomorrow if it shows any type of weakness. And then get back in if it breaks this 29.15 area up there. All right, uh, send text to house, homing stocks. All right, let me stop this now and we do this on another video because I know this is going to mess me up, all right? All right, I'll be, I'll, this part two coming up.